Hey guys, what's up? It's I, Jevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of our LP series. A quick note real fast, guys. It is raining where I live, and it's ex extremely humid outside. So I have to have my air conditioner on, otherwise it's like 90 degrees in my apartment. So if you hear a noise in the background, that's what you're hearing. Uh, one other quick note is I'm, I'm still seeing like comments in the descriptions, or not in the description, but in the comment section, you know, like worrying about the channel. Guys, don't, don't worry about that stuff. Let's just have fun and enjoy the enjoy the Minecraft, okay? Don't don't worry about it, okay? It's fine. Like, um, if I was in a situation where I needed to post more, I would. But let's just, let's enjoy the the situation. Now, on to the bad news. So I was um, caving the other day. Um, that's why there wasn't a video yesterday. I kind of rage quit. I was caving yesterday and I died. Um, so the old lava. Lava problem. Let me grab a couple blocks. I'll show you what happened. So I'm in this cave, right? And I'm like walking and I see this thing. So I jump over it. On the other side, there wasn't any blocks. Fell right in. Literally fell right in. Had my fortune three pickaxe on me. Um, you know, all of the ores and everything that I had mined. Um, now there is one upside to this, fortunately. Uh, I had done extensive strip mining in our strip mine before I had went and I didn't take any of that with me. So, we have 52 diamonds. Also went and got some slime balls for our project today. Um, so, I was able to, like, scrape 30. Oh, my God. You guys have no idea how hard it is to get 30 levels these days. Uh, went to the nether, mined a ton of quartz, um, killed mobs, mined stuff, smelted everything I possibly could. Uh, I'm just going to do a level 30 enchant and hope for the best. Uh, and I have found a place that I want to live and I'm gonna go show you that in just a second I'm gonna because we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of exploring today. Oh Hold on one second. I just realized my Skype is on green Do not disturb there we go Okay, so First off, let's do another enchant I'll take it. It's on breaking three uh, it's not fortune, but um, I can most likely get a uh, iron pickaxe that has fortune three. Actually, you know what? Doesn't one of these have fortune? You know what? Let's actually go ahead and try a couple uh, fortune enchants. Let's see if we can get a fortune enchant on an iron pickaxe. Because I'll just use that pickaxe for mining, and then when I come to fortune, I'll use the iron one. Pretty sure they give the same amounts, too. Uh, so level 30... For that one is fortune three. Okay, so I'll have to get some more XP then. Okay, uh, that's that's probably good for now. Uh, but like I said, I lost all my tools and stuff. So let's go ahead and actually craft ourselves a full set of diamond tools. Uh, and then I'm going to show you where we're going to probably be building our base. And I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself for choosing this location. Because I have never actually built anything in this kind of area before. So it's going to be kind of cool, I think. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, what we see, what we're gonna need, we are going to need some, probably some torches. Do I have any other sticks? There we go. So let's go ahead and make a whole slew of sticks. Take those with us. I need some, probably bring some cobblestone with me too. I think cobblestone will probably be good. Uh, that's probably all we're going to need for now. I'll bring some chests just in case. Okay, so let's get on our horsey. Still haven't decided the name for this guy. Uh, so the place I decided to live is actually fairly close to here. There's a swamp biome uh, fairly, fairly close to here. I was looking uh, the reason why I was actually caving, I was looking for um, a monster spawner. I wanted to make an XP farm that as our first project, but um, no, had to die first. So, all right. But if we keep going straight this way, there's a swamp biome. But I was over here, you know, I was mining coal to try to find XP, and I found this area. And it starts up here. So this is where we're going to be living or building our base. Uh, I, remember I remember I told you guys I wanted to do something that was not traditional of me. And um, so I think this is probably going to do it. Not to mention, building in a cave is not something, like I said, I've ever done before. Uh, we have a pretty big cave here as well. It goes over here. That builds over there. So let me put that guy right there and we'll go in here. So we're going to just look around here because I haven't I haven't really been... I forgot wood. I just need to grab you. 
I need a crafting table. Uh, I gotta get rid of that. Well, maybe we'll leave the lava for now, but yeah, this is a pretty big area. And like I said, I've never, never really done this before, so it's gonna be kind of exciting. There we go. All right, so first off, um, let's just go ahead and kind of look around. And I'm not gonna put torches on the floor. I'm gonna put them on the walls instead. There we go. So this is uh, quite the area, actually. Um, I've like I said, I've never done this before, so this is very new for me. Uh, I'm kind of excited to be honest with you. Try something a little bit different than what I'm used to. Let's kill this guy. Okay. Lots of coal to pick up. There we go. Alright. Um, let's get down here. Like I said, I haven't, uh, I haven't really looked to see what we have. But we have a lot of different pathways, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm pretty excited. And uh, I brought the half slabs because I want to kind of do this around the different area. Like, I think that'll really kind of bring, you know, bring it together. Not exactly like in, you know, the best way, but, I mean, makes it just a little bit more ease of access. And then if we want to, like, you know, change stuff later on, we can. Okay, let's go down here. Get a torch there. Uh, sounds like there's lots of mobs. Hopefully there's a mob spawner around here somewhere. That would just be fantastic. Let's break that and put that right there. Not to mention, um, one thing that I've never really encountered before. Yeah, there's just all kinds of little pathways. This is a fantastic area. Uh, one thing I've never really encountered before was living in an open area. I've never done that before. So to me, this is going to be a new challenge because I have yet to live somewhere like this where I have to fight mobs constantly. So we'll have to be on more alert. It's going to be awesome, dude. I'm so excited. Okay. We'll probably have to uh, go outside and torch the place up too as well, so... So we got a couple different pathways. Let's try both of these ways. And that one, that that one down there looks pretty big. Goes back out this side again. Nice little lake right here. Got a good view. And there's another cave up here too. Oh wow, it just continues. So we should probably try to connect these together if they don't already do so. Oh, they do. Awesome. So this is a pretty big area actually. Wow, I'm actually genuinely surprised at the size of this thing. Gotta go! I don't want to die. Alright, let me uh, get some torches down. But yeah, this is... Um, I, I saved this to for you guys because I, hadn't, I haven't looked at this either. But this is new to me as well. This is exciting, though. I've got so many ideas, like, just, you know... I'm so excited to just, like, go through here and do stuff, man. Like this. Now, later on, we can... If you guys don't like this idea, we can move it. If you guys want me to, like, put some other blocks down or, you know, grass or something, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. We gotta move that a little bit. Something like that. Oh, this is so good. I'm having... I cannot tell you how much fun I'm actually... I haven't had this much fun in Minecraft in a while. I think it probably shows, too. Just enjoying myself more. Something like that, probably. Just kind of letting my um, my health heal up really quickly. Walk up. Um, here, let's get rid of this. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to remove too many blocks because then that kind of like it kind of loses its feel, you know. Something like that, probably. There we go. So now we can just kind of walk through here. And let's kill this guy. Alright. I hope that keeps going. There. So this is a pretty nice... This will be a pretty good area for a base, actually. Um, let's get rid of some of this. 
perfect. And <laughs> I can't. I'm just having so much fun right now, dude. Like this is awesome. I'm having, I'm enjoying myself. Like that. I'm the um. I don't know where I put that crafting table. Crafting table. Where did you go? I think it's on the other side here. No. Is it up here? I think it's up here. Oh, there's another cave there, too. I missed. I need some food. I hope my horse doesn't get in the lava over there. Can he get up here? He can. Let him come to me. Wow, they really do a lot of damage now. Man, that is making me freaking nervous. <laughs> and my horse over there. Um, so I guess if we were going to get up to this area, we would want to kind of terraform this a little bit. Put a torch right there. Let me just peel that back just a little bit more. So then, let's see. I still don't know where that crafting table went. Just grab one of these guys. Gotta go rescue my horse. Horsey! What are you doing, buddy? What is he doing? Can you get up there? Jump so freaking high. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, crafting table. Let's make a bunch more slabs. There we go. Anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead. I will I will forego doing the slabs just for now. Uh, I just want to continue going through here real fast. Probably get rid of this gravel. Looks good. Uh, probably need a torch like right there. All right, let's uh, just make sure that we've got everything explored because it looks like it goes down more. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's actually go and get rid of this lava. Be the last thing I do before I cut. Make sure that we've got everything taken care of that way. Oh, there's another another part of the cave up here too. Wow, this thing just like kind of goes all the way through. It looks like there we go. All right, so what do we got up here as well? Break this open a little bit. So have we been up here? No. This is like its own separate little area. Oh, so that's just like right there. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, there was like low battery. <laughs> my, um, my thing has been saying that for quite a while. Uh, so it should be right over here. No, on the other side. It's on the other side. Let's go to the other side. Um, I've got so many cool ideas. What should we? What should you think we should do for the flooring, though? Um, okay, let's go down. So eventually, that's gonna run loose. Uh, let's just make sure everything down through here was lit up correctly. Put a torch right there, right there. Have we? We haven't been down here yet either. Right there. Oh, it goes even further. Yes. Lucky. Hopefully there's like a mob spawner down here. Could really use one of those right now. Lots of different pathways though. Opens up even more. There's a creeper. Let's kill him. I don't want you to blow up my base. Okay. So yeah, we've got we've got tons of tunnels. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> Your boy is ready. That's right, baby. Wonder if this leads back up to where we were. I don't know where this goes. So even more tunnels. Wow, there is a ton of caving through here. Leads down there. Okay, so we'll we'll save that for another time. Uh, what is up here? 
yeah what I'll do is off camera I'll just go through all of this and get all of it and lit up as much as possible yeah there's there's tons of caves though this thing is gonna be awesome to have fun with it even goes over through in here even more oh that yeah that's this is crazy dude this is awesome okay so um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, set up a little shop and just sort of get things started I want to get uh, our first project underway and that's gonna take me a little bit of time to get prep for so uh, I'll be back Alrighty, so besides losing my horse, I have no idea where that guy went. I uh, have went through here and lit up most of the area. I uh, still haven't been down there yet. Uh, that way, no, no, it's up here. I'm getting to know the cave a little better. Uh, sort of, I think. I don't know, I'm still kind of lost. <laughs> but uh, there, there's like, oh, it's right here, it's right here. If we go this way, there's just, it just keeps going for miles. So right here is what we're going to be doing our first project today. We are going to do a tree farm. Now, typical tree farms are like these huge, massive things. I don't really want to do anything like that. I think what I want to do is have it to where there's a piece of dirt that extends up a couple blocks. Maybe we'll do a double piss and extender. Um, and then we'll just like have a spot where we stand and mine the tree and then hit the button. The extender will go down. All this stuff will fall in. Uh, and then we'll hit up, uh, we'll make a couple systems to where maybe the, uh, the wood and stuff will either come out here or into storage somewhere. As well as, um, maybe we'll make something to where we can have like a charcoal plant to where we have, uh, just charcoal cooking. Uh, that would be pretty nice, I think. So, uh, yeah, the first thing I'm going to need to do is probably dig out a room here. Hopefully I'm having, I have enough room, uh, to do it. Because there's like this right here, but I think if I either go down a couple blocks or just kind of go straight in, I'll be okay. Um, but uh, I need to do probably like a 10 by 10. So I'm going to dig that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I ran out of room up here, so I, I blocked that back off. Uh, decided to move down here, but we've got a little room dug out here. So I'm trying to decide, you know, where I want my piston to reach. We can do a double piston extender, which will put the block right here so I can reach there. Uh, I was testing trees in the creative world, and uh, if the room is 7x7, seven seven, which we would need to extend this a little bit, depending on where this goes, 2, 3, 4, 5, I don't think we can get a piston to extend there. Maybe we could just do like a basic piston um, right here and see if I can... The, the thing is, is we need to be able to reach all of this. Typical trees have five or six pieces of wood. I would say that would probably be pretty typical piece of dirt down here to put that there and then obviously we'll have like a we'll have like a couple levers up here for different things uh, and then okay so I can mine all that next up let's go ahead oh you know what I don't know if I brought any bone meal well I did bring a little bit of bone meal grab you um, let's go ahead hopefully that'll be enough uh, and let's see if we can grow an oak tree in here on this. Uh, I do have dirt. Let me... Gotta be... Hopefully this is enough room. Uh, yep. There we go. Let's make sure that we're in the exact center. Come on. Please be enough. So we need to be able to reach this bone meal everything. And we'll have like a little glass opening from right here. Uh, this will just be a regular wall. Everything in here will be water. So we can save on iron. Um, let me get a little bit of light, more, a little bit more light down here as well. If I need to go one higher, I will. I'll try like three more pieces, because I don't have much bone meal. One more. Uh, okay, so nothing. You know what, let me, uh, let's remove one, one row of the ceiling and see if we can get this tree to grow. Hopefully we can. Oh, I'm so close. There we go. So how many blocks? I wonder how many blocks that is. Um, there we go. So glad I was able to enchant another pick. Okay. There we go. So like I said, I had seven. 
So hopefully that'll be enough. It's pretty confined space, but I'm pretty sure uh, I can get a tree to grow in here. So two, three, four. Yeah, that's seven. So this tree should be able to grow now. There we go. And then uh, whenever we're ready to harvest, we'll just simply go like this. And uh, obviously before we harvest, you know, we'll flick a lever. That piece of dirt will go down and uh, we'll have water flowing. Uh, and then we'll have that lead to somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe we'll make a little staircase going down right here. I think what I'm going to do is I think I either want I'm trying to think about like evens and odds. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to stick to that or not. I told myself I wasn't going to do that. So I'm probably going to make a little staircase right here leading down into maybe another room. So I think this is going to work out perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the water stream set up in the collection points. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is like, put the collection point on this side and have a stream of water running. Um, and then I'll have like a system of hoppers. The first hopper will be controlled by redstone. That way we can turn it on and off. And that will lead to another area for maybe a charcoal plant. Um, but we'll probably keep that off for a while. Uh, and then there'll be a collection point down below there um, for some other stuff. So it's working out pretty well. So let's continue on. Okie dokie, so I've got a working trial. We need to make a couple things really quickly. I uh, also need your guys' advice on a couple things. Uh, so let's see. We'll need a hopper. Hopper. There we go. And a chest. So we got both of those. So when we walk in here, I have uh, put the water thing in. There's that. So whenever we grow a tree, we'll just set that right there. Do you guys think that I should put a water control in. Having water running 24-7 is probably going to be rather annoying. Uh, I could just as easily move the water back. Uh, actually, not move the water back, but I could control the water a lot easier. Probably by putting pistons right here and just pushing down or something. I'm not sure. But uh, do you guys think I should do water control? Let me know. Um, I'm perfectly fine with it running. We've got another system over there. So we get some glass and stuff. Then we've got some stairs to come down here. This is where we're going to need our hopper. Oh, there's a floor down there. There we go. And uh, so let's see. This will be our collection point, and then we'll have storage um, here as well. Darn it. There we go. Oops. Failure. Can't shift on chests. Come on, <laughs> can't get it. Okay, hold on. Let me move that. There we go. Let's just make sure that that's gonna work, or if it's gonna like bounce off the hopper. Throw some stuff in there. Make sure that that's just gonna flow into there correctly. Everything looks according. There we go. Perfect. Um, so that'll be our collection point and. To be honest, um, I'll probably kind of cover this up a little bit. I still got to do uh, design. I'm not sure how much designing I want to do. Uh, I do like the natural look of the cave. We might kind of do that in here a little bit. I'm not sure yet. So that'll collect right there. And then we'll probably have some like some storage and a couple furnaces down here. So let's go ahead and uh, get a test going here. Um, I need to grab a sapling, and I have, have very little bone meal left, so hopefully we can get a tree to grow. There we go. Awesome. So, lever. There we go. Bone meal. Come on. Woo! Okay. Then hit the lever again. And then just start mining. There we go. So that'll decay. Everything is going to go into the chest. Uh, I probably just decay myself. And if I want to collect leaves, this will be... Yeah, this will this will also double as a leaf farm as well. So uh, we've got a couple different options. I still need to set up the charcoal plant idea as well. Uh, I need to get glass and everything. But uh, I just don't have all the material for that kind of stuff yet. So still working on what I want to do. Break all that. Can I reach that over there? I can't really reach that. No. 
So go down here, make sure everything went into the chest correctly. Awesome. We got a, uh, a nice little working tree farm. Still needs to be polished up, but for the most part, this thing uh, works pretty well. Pretty good with our first project back. I haven't done a project like this in a long time, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good. I can't stand this cobblestone here. I gotta move it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Stone. There we go. El Natural. <laughs> there we go. All right, so... Um, not sure what I want to do, but I definitely don't want to use torches. We might have to grab some glowstone. Um, and I was gonna, th I was thinking about actually using leaves in here as a design, but then I thought about it, and I don't want any of uh, the leaves from the trees to hit the walls and mess anything up. So I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'll probably work on this just a little bit more, kind of polish things up, uh, grab some glass. I think I'm gonna use green glass. I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, so I will be back shortly. Oh my god, I found him! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to go to the nether to get glowstone because I'm working on our project. I'm going to make some green glass and stuff. And I've been <laughs> looking for this horse for like 20 minutes, dude. Where did you go? Don't ever leave me like that again. Um, but yes, <laughs> we, um, I've just been kind of working on things using some stone brick uh, as well as, you know, just trying to clean up. Uh, for our project and uh, we need to go to the nether because uh, I need glowstone. I actually might have glowstone back at the house But uh, how much XP do I have? 28? Okay Let's say we might Let's say we might have enough to do another enchantment, but we don't. I'd like to get that fortune 3 iron pick if I could Here we go I'm just so happy that I found him again um, I might have glowstone at our base. I'm gonna check that before I go back to the nether. I don't like going to the nether. The nether's mean to me. Okay, so we'll have to get uh, one thing that I can already see we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a train station over here. Uh, do I want any of this? Maybe we'll start growing some potions. Take that. Don't want any of that. Man, I thought I had glowstone. I don't want any of that. Aha! Glowstone. I don't think I want any of that either. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to head back and uh, continue to work on this a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the setup finished. Uh, it's probably gonna, You're probably going to think too much stone brick, but let me know what you think. Uh, I need to get this all kind of cleaned up as well. So when you walk in, uh, we've got like a little lamp here. I need to do this in here too. Um, <clears throat> got our green glass to kind of signal leaves and stuff. Just, you know, flip the lever. Flip the lever. And then I still think I want to put some storage up here somewhere. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where yet because it would be nice because, you know, we're probably going to be doing bone meal and all kinds of stuff. Uh, maybe we could put it down there somewhere. Anyway, so you come in here, walk down, and so we've got a wall of furnaces. The only thing I don't like about this is how close the stairs are. Uh, if there was a way to sort of get rid of these, I would. Um, I don't know if maybe like coming straight down would work better, or maybe raising the floor up one block or something, but I just don't like how close it is to the wall, um, which we'll, you know, maybe we'll fix later, but uh, three chests for storage. Got our hopper and stuff there, so we've got a nice little tree farm with a nice little room down here for storage and smelting. Um, Alright, well that, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm not sure how long it is, but I'm running out of time to record. Uh, so I hope you all have a, uh, a great day, and let me know what you guys think about this. Any suggestions we might need to change? But other than that, I, I think I'm happy with it so far. Maybe we'll do some changes later, though. Uh, Alright, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is Ike Kevin.